Good evening to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another unboxing video. The series where I obviously unbox my various streetwear, sneaker and sometimes even jewellery purchases on the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing the Capital Country Police Bandana Pattern by Bark Hoodie that I proxied using Zen Market. Yes, welcome back guys to another unboxing video of another proxied capital piece. This time around though, something has changed. So as you guys know, when I normally pick up capital pieces, uh, when I proxy them over from Japan, I normally use the proxy service Neokio. Well, this time around, I decided to change up the proxy service and use Zen Market instead. Now, the reason I wanted to try out Zen Market was to see if they offered any alternative international shipping options that was a little bit quicker than Neokio. Now, when I went through the process and ordered online with them and had it shipped to me, unfortunately, they had the same shipping options as Neokio. I think they were slightly cheaper than Neokio. But I think because coronavirus and, you know, Melbourne and Sydney being shut down, it's really hard to get any other shipping options into Australia at the moment besides, uh, you know, the really slow Japan post or like top level DHL or FedEx or something like that, which is what I had to actually pay to get this piece to me. I went with uh, DHL Express to get it to me. It did cost me around 60 bucks which included uh, goods and services tax, the fee, everything like that. So all around, it wasn't too bad, but yeah, man, the shift, uh, sorry, the shipping is shafting me at the moment. But when I put it into the grand scheme of things, this hoodie here cost 575 US dollars at Manhattan. Costs around 800 and something at Up There Store, the only Australian boutique that sells capital. And including the $60 that I paid in shipping, taxes, fees, on top of the item price, it still comes out way cheaper than what I would have paid if I bought it from a boutique. So really, I shouldn't complain. I got the cheapest option out of all the options available to pick up this hoodie. So I should be pretty happy with that. Now the reason I picked up this hoodie was uh, actually because of a recent pickups video that I did. <laughs> I discussed five capital pieces that I want to pick up and most of them were from their fall winter 2021 drop two. This hoodie here got restocked for drop two. Now it comes in three colors. You can get it in a black, a cream, or a purple and navy. I love all three colors, but I decided to go with the uh, cream. And I picked this up in a size 5, which is a 2XL. Now this hoodie, judging from the measurements that have been put onto Capital's website, it's going to be quite a cropped look compared to, I guess, a Western hoodie. It would make sense because Capital's whole aesthetic is to mimic or reinterpret American vintage. And a lot of American vintage pieces like Pipe One, Levi's jackets, everything from the early 20th century wasn't exactly incredibly long so it does fit quite into capital's image to have this piece quite short it's not incredibly short it's still 60 something centimeters in length i mean i have the measurements up on the screen so you guys can know for sure so it should still go past my waist it should still fit fine but it is going to fit very differently from a normal hoodie from i guess heaps of other brands it's also a zip up hoodie which it is my only zip up hoodie in my whole wardrobe at the moment <laughs> So this will be interesting. Uh, yeah, I'm really keen to see how uh, Zen Market did with their proxying and to see how the piece actually fits. But uh, yeah, let's dive into it, guys. Let's unbox this Capital Country fleece bandana pattern by bar hoodie that I picked up in a size 5 in the cream color. Okay, let's get into it. So uh, this piece... Uh, comes in three different versions. Uh, it comes in a hoodie variant, a sweater, crew neck sweater variant, and a, uh, oh, what's it called? A cardigan variant as well. I think the cardigan variant no longer is available on the online store and you'd be very lucky to find it at a boutique. 
but the uh, hoodie and Crinex sweater version do get restocked regularly uh, every couple of seasons on Capitals Online Store. So I would recommend going there if you want to, you know, pick it up in those two versions. I wouldn't mind picking up all three versions, but um, yeah, it is quite expensive realistically at the end of the day. <laughs> I'd love all three colors of this version, all the three other versions in all the colors. It's just... It's a really sick piece, and I really love how Capital has approached the hoodie, crewneck sweater, and cardigan in this style. But we got a little thank you note from Zen Market. Uh, it says, Dear customer, thank you for using Zen Market as your buying proxy from online shopping in Japan. We really work hard to ensure the best quality of service. We hope you're satisfied with your order. We will be happy to have your feedback and see you again. I mean, I reckon I'll be coming back with these guys. I reckon I'll be proxying so much more from Capital when Australia is more open and when we have more shipping options at the moment because having only first class and stuff like that, it's really expensive. Like, I know I'm still gonna get way cheaper than at boutiques, but oh man, it's, it's still hard. So here it is here, completely bubble wrapped. You can see the bandana print that is featured on the front. On the back of the piece, we get a quilt, but unfortunately we can't see it until we get into it. So I'll just open up the bag here and see how it looks. Um, I'm very keen to um, like wear this around the house and stuff. I just I don't have a button up, uh, sorry, a zip up hoodie. So it's gonna be interesting getting used to that again. Every single hoodie of mine is a pullover hoodie. So <laughs> it's gonna be a unique experience for me. So here is the cream color. It's a little bit more dull than I was expecting it to be. Uh, honestly, in the photos, it does look a lot lighter in color, but it might just be because of the artificial light. Maybe in sunlight, it'll look a lot better. I'll see if I can find the opening for the bag here. They've like double or triple bagged this. So I gotta say, Zen Market has like put a lot of effort into ensuring that this doesn't get like soaked by anything or anything like that. Cause look at this, that was bubble wrap bag number one. Once we get through this bag here, we've then got to get through the official official capital bag. <laughs> it's just never-ending bags, man. Okay, here it is here, being showcased more. Uh, we still don't get to see the quilted part of it until we open it all the way up, so let's get into that. Um, yeah, I'm very keen to wear this maybe more in the summery seasons because it'll be a lot more easier to wear and take off and things like that because of the zip. I uh, will just have to see how it looks, but here we go. There is the final bag of the piece here, and here is the fleece bandana pattern uh, by Bark hoodie. Uh, honestly, I'm happy to see that the hood looks a lot larger than the Smile hoodie. If you guys have watched my Smile hoodie unboxing, the hood on that thing is really small. And for a guy with a huge head, it's nice to see that the hood it looks quite large here. Uh, as we can see, on the front, we get the bandana print showcased to us here. Uh, it is a capital country piece, so each of these will be individual. They will be different. None of them will be the same. We get, what kind of zipper is it? We got YKK zippers on the front there. I mean, I don't know if you'll be able to see that with me putting it this close up to the camera, but they are YKK zippers, which I know a lot of guys out there, big fans of that brand's zipper. Um, we will just showcase it here as well. As we can see, it says Capital Country on the tag there, one of their famous remakes. Uh, as we can see on the back, we get that amazing quilt that I was talking about there. See if I can find the other tag once I unzip it, which is, yes, the sizing tag. There we go. So we can see I've picked it up in a size five. And if I flip over the tag, it's a 2XL there because um, I'm a big fella. <laughs> so I need a 2XL. Well, guys, uh, that's it fully unboxed. Let's try it on and see how this piece looks on body. Here it is, showcased on body. Uh, I'm still going to reiterate, I feel like in the photos it looks a lot brighter than it actually is. The creamy colour is a lot more toned down when you actually get it in person. Uh, for my measurements, I'm around 6'5", height, around about 110 kilos. Uh, so that will be my 
height and weight measurements there. Although it's not very specific because I could have really broad shoulders like I do, but it'll give you a rough idea of how a size five looks. Uh, I'll just do a quick turn around so you guys can see how the quilt looks body there. So this is how the quilted design looks back, which I gotta say, I really love. I think it looks really sick. I just love the pattern that they have on that quilt on the back there. I'll turn around and this is where I think this is quite interesting. So here's the pockets here on the front. But if you don't like the pockets here, very much like heaps of other Japanese brands, Capital's got you covered and you can have a hidden pocket on the side here. <laughs> like, all, And it's on both sides, it's not just on one side. So if you don't like the pockets on the front, you can go the pockets on the side of the body. So it's a four pocket bandana hoodie <laughs> it's wild it's really really crazy uh, let's see if i can actually zip it up although i am quite large so maybe the zipped up look is not the way to go but i don't know that actually works so there we go there it is fully zipped up my hands in the closer pockets that's how it looks fully zipped up i actually really like this i think that i'm more happy with it than i thought i was gonna be <laughs> <laughs> this is yeah, it's really comfy as well the cotton on the front combined with the quilt on the back look at that oh comfy that's so sick i really want the um the crewneck sweater version now like in all the colors <laughs> this is awesome okay well let's see how the hood actually fits as well so i'm a size eight fitted cap I think I am which is around 64 centimeters in uh you know circumference there let's see how the hood looks you know what I'll take it because the smile hoodie was really really bad it was like a nun's hood at least I've got a little bit of movement here like and I feel like you guys won't be in the same scenario as me where you have a size 8 head but I feel like it'll fit a lot better for you and it, I've, as I've mentioned before, it's only 60 something centimeters in length. So the hoodie does just come past my waistline. Like it doesn't come all the way down, but I kind of like the of it. Like it's really nice. Well, that's it showcased on body guys. Uh, let me know how you feel about the Capital Country fleece bandana pattern by bar hoodie uh, in the cream in a size five down in that comment section below. Well, that's really the, all there is to say, guys. Here is the Capital Country uh, Fleece Bandana Pattern uh, by Bark, I think it is, hoodie. Uh, we've got the quilted back there. On the inside, we actually, I think we do have the quilt coming through. No, okay, so the quilt on the back here doesn't actually continue onto the inside of the piece. There is a cotton layer there to stop you from touching the, um, the quilted area at the back right there. I don't know if you guys feel any different about that. There's also a Capital Journey product tag down the bottom there. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's down here, down where the uh, real leather strips are on the, uh, what is this? Yep, but more YKK um, zips down there. We've got the cotton bandana print on the front. Um, all in all, I'm really happy with it. I got a little bit um, uh, thrown off by the color of it because I thought it was going to be a lot more creamier, a lot whiter, but it's actually a lot more toned down than I thought it was. But I kind of like that. How do you guys feel about the actual color compared to the images? Is it a yes or do you prefer the images where it looked a little bit lighter? It might look a lot better in uh, like natural light. I am using artificial light at the moment to show you guys it, so it may look a little bit different. Uh, the fit of it is very short compared to a normal hoodie from, I don't know, Supreme, Alice, anything like that. So get ready for a shorter one, but it is quite wide. It fits me quite well. I'm 6'5", 110 kilos. It's a little bit tight when I zip it up, but I won't be zipping it up. I'll be wearing it unzipped, like kind of like a jacket. Uh, it's a sweet piece. I love the four pockets on the front. I'll definitely be looking to pick up the crew neck uh, sweater version of it and the cardigan version of it if I can find them. But all in all, just a sick capital piece to add to my wardrobe and my capital collection. But uh, I'd love to know how you guys feel about this piece or the brand in general uh, down in that comment section below. 
Now, if you guys want me to keep using Zen Market services or keep proxying more capital pieces that I'm looking to pick up, don't forget to leave a big old like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below, and the best indicator you can give me is a subscribe to the channel. We're trying to aim for the subscriber milestone of 3,100 subs before the end of October. Hopefully, with your guys' continuous support, we can reach that milestone before the end of the month. That's it guys, all in all, I am very happy with it. It arrived in perfect condition. Uh, Zen Market came through. They performed exactly what they were meant to do and what I paid them to do. I'm definitely gonna be using them in the future. Uh, I'll be picking up a couple more capital pieces uh, through them. Uh, yeah, it's just awesome. Absolutely love it. And thank you uh, Zen Market for offering those services. It's really helpful to have someone on the inside, I guess, in Japan, <laughs> able to pro proxy these pieces overseas. But I love it. I would love to know how you feel about the piece uh, down in that comment section below. But until the next unboxing video, until the next capital video, until the next streetwear talk video in general, guys, I'll catch you later.